Hello and welcome back to the channel for another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. So um, yeah, I'm finally continuing this series after a very long break. Um, yeah, it was another one of those cases where I got a bit tired out of the game. And um, yeah, I've just played some other games in the meantime. But um, yeah, I'm back now. Um, hopefully for good. Maybe not. Um, I can't promise anything. <laughs> Things change. But um, yeah, I'll try to keep this series going. So um, yeah, just try and bear with me while I go on these breaks um, but anyway we're getting um, back to this park so and those Parasaurolophus there escaped and then there's like Corythosaurus as well so yeah just got them back um, after replacing some of the fence there but um, this game's had um, an update and a DLC since um, I last played so um, yeah I used some of the new decorations and stuff um, none of the new dinosaurs um, although I will maybe add them um, with suggestions, um, I'm probably only going to be doing like one at a time because it does get a bit overwhelming sometimes because a lot, quite a few of you actually leave suggestions and all of them are really good, I really do appreciate it but um, I'll have to pick my favourite out of them um, probably from now on because it got a bit overwhelming and um, yeah, I didn't want to upset some people and um, like favour people more than others so um, I'll be only taking my favourite suggestions from now but um, yeah, as I say, thank you very much for all of them because I do appreciate it it's nice to have support on these videos because I do put a lot of work into them. So anyway, working on this large habitat here. Um, this is going to be for some sauropods and uh, a few other dinosaurs. Um, I might add some more dinosaurs to this enclosure, but I'm not sure yet. So um, yeah, just getting to work here on all the rocks and stuff. Making it look all natural. Have a big watering hole in the middle there, which I quite like. And of course, we're placing the individual trees, which they finally decided to add, and I'm so thankful for that. They even had like little bushes and stuff as well, which is really good. I'm really happy with all these new individual trees. Such a good feature to have. It's good that they um, finally put it back, because it was in the first game, and then they removed it from the second one, which is odd. But then um, they've added new decorations and like Avery purchase and stuff, which I shall use in other series and stuff. But, um... Yeah, uh, really happy with what they've done, and they've added like they've got no scientists on um, like the sandbox and stuff now. So I'm really thankful for what Frontier have done, like listening to um, everyone's um, thoughts. That's the one thing about Frontier—they always listen to um, the uh, fans and the community. So here we go, placing some of the new planters, making a—I uh, don't know what it'd be called, like a plaza pathway thing. Um, I. I don't know what the word would be. It's just like a long strip, long strip of path, but I don't know what it's called. It's escaped my mind. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with all these new planters. As you know, I place quite a few of them in my parks, and they've got loads of other decorations and stuff to place as well. So it won't get as boring with just planters. I can place fountains and like amber and like, like I don't know what it's called, like an amber um, planter type thing, I suppose. But yeah, it looks really good. And then we had an Archaeonophomimus, which somehow escaped. I don't know why this hasn't been patched out, because this has happened quite a few times now. There's always stray dinosaurs just phasing out of the fences. So there we go, just putting that back. And then getting back to work on this um, plaza. I still don't know what to call it. I was going to call it an alley, but it's not an alley, is it? Yeah, placing all those... Um, planters again and of course I placed those trees back there making sure they're all like equally spaced so it looks all neat and tidy as you know I like things to look neat and tidy in these parks I don't like um, loads of random stuff everywhere I like things to look nice unless I'm working like in an exhibit I like things to look more natural so yeah really happy with all these different trees and stuff Just placing out some shrubbery down there so it looks like overgrown. Where well, guests shouldn't be walking there. Then I got to work on a little um, uh, fountain area type thing back here, like a little decoration area. I don't know what it's called, what it would be called, but um, yeah, I thought it looked quite nice. And then I got to work on populating my habitat with dinosaurs. So I'm um, starting with the Apatosaurus, which is a dinosaur I hardly ever use. Um, I only like, use it once, I think, in challenge mode. Um, yeah, it's actually quite a good dinosaur. It's changed a lot since the original. I think its face seems different. 
Then I use Camarasaurus, which is another dinosaur I don't really use, mostly because it's so needy in its um, like habitats, but um, obviously in sandbox it doesn't have needs and stuff. Um, here we have the Apatosaurus. I don't know if it's like that weird, um, like in between the eye and the nose. Oh, I, it has a name, but I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head. But um, it seems to have some work done since the last game. I still love these animations of them coming out of the hatchery. I'm always going to watch them. <laughs> Even if you guys don't like it. Um, in other news though, um, I've ordered myself a new capture card. So hopefully um, some much better, clearer footage coming soon. Also 60 FPS. Um, I know the videos say they're 60 FPS on YouTube or whatever. But um, like the actual gameplay footage isn't 60 FPS. Because I've got the um, original Elgato Game Capture HD. And I've just got the Elgato. Elgato? Elgato? Uh, I call it Elgato. But... Um, yeah, I've got the uh, HD60 um, on the way, so um, hopefully some much more smooth footage, um, and I think it's a bit clearer as well. So um, that's something to look forward to in my future videos, so stick around for that. Um, I've also um, got a little surprise at the end of this video, so uh, stick around for that as well. Um, I think you guys will enjoy that, especially if you um, watch my old series. There's a little hint there. Um, yeah, here we have our Camarasaurus, that one on the front there, very similar to one from Operation Genesis. It has like that green body, I remember it having. Yeah, it's quite a strange Where's dinosaur, the this. Lizard? The Camarasaurus impresses with... Camarasaurus, as... Uh, what's her name? Dr. Do I put it? I call it Camarasaurus, just because I can. <laughs> That's just what I've been calling it my whole life. And then, of course, we added... Well, of course, um... We added Mementosaurus, which is another dinosaur that I hardly ever use. But um, yeah, really good dinosaur. I just really like this one. Probably one of my favourite sauropods. I say that about every dinosaur. I say, oh, this is one of my favourites. I think nearly every dinosaur in this game has been my favourite by this point. <laughs> but um, that just shows what a good job Frontier have done with them. And hey, what's not to love about dinosaurs? I mean, come on. <laughs> Oh, there we go, phasing through the 2D <laughs> shrubbery there. Well, to be fair, it still looks really good. Okay. That's not bad this shrubbery. Is something special. Seriously, look at I've seen a lot worse the... in games. Oh, so I was getting them large things moved over. Just a couple of them. And then I struggled on deciding what to place um, last. I wanted the Ceratopsid, but I weren't sure which. So I decided to go for a Cyanoceratops in the end because I've I've never used that and um, uh, I really like it. I, for, like, I used to use it all the time in um, like uh, the original evolution when I did the Fallen Kingdom um, update. But um, yeah, it's definitely one of the more unique Ceratopsids. I'm not going to say it's one of my favourites because I say that about everything, <laughs> but it's uh, more one of the more unique ones. So you have a few of them going in. Just get them tranquilized and the others um, uh, automatically moved over from the hatchery. Oh yeah, placing the um, ranger posts. I place a couple in here um, because it's quite a large exhibit and um, like we need the radius to cover the majority of the exhibit even though I don't cover all of it um, just to make sure those annoying uh, things above their heads don't come up and um, I don't know it just adds to the realism of the park I suppose doesn't it I still got to decorate this backstage area actually with um, the new um, like they have lorries and diggers and stuff and here we have that real time footage of our dinosaurs that one there just yawning or something probably not yawning <laughs> Didn't realise there was a bit of a <laughs> technical glitch there. Apologies for that. 
I like this one, I like the pattern on that. Transportation complete. Yeah, seems like a little look at our Camarasaurus here. Such a strange, like, head. I like it, though. It's one of those ones that reminds me of Operation Genesis. It's sort of like a miniature Brachiosaurus, in my eyes. We have that one there, getting used to its surroundings. I think it's just been dropped off by the chopper. And then back to the original, or the first one. Yeah, I named this one Moss because of the green pattern down it. God, I've got quite a few technical glitches in this uh, video. Sorry about that, I didn't notice. Well, that can't really be helped. It's my computer's fault, it's not the most powerful. And here we have our Mementosaurus, uh, named one of them Titan, obviously because of the size. It just made sense, really. I also remember that at this point they had the uh, first person view, so I um, had a little look at that, and I really liked this view. just shows you like the scale of the dinosaurs it's mad oh god I <laughs> keep getting those technical glitches sorry yeah the Sarnoceratops just roaming there and then you saw us over in the distance there walking through the trees there we go got out of the first person there Then we get a little look at our Sinoceratops. Oh yeah, named that um, Simon Seratops there Plod. I don't know if you saw that because of the glitching, but um, yeah, I named that. Um, then I named one of my Apatosauruses. Um, it weren't this one. It was I think it was like a brown one. I think it was this one in the end I named. Well, it might have been that one. I'm not sure. It's one of the brown ones, I think. Yeah, is this one. I, thought, yeah, I decided to name this one Patch. Um, I don't know why. I think because a Patasaurus, a Patch, I don't know. Just seemed like a fitting name. It's a really strange eye there. Um, Patasaurus. It sort of reminds me of E.T. I don't know why. It just has that weird eye. Um, that's this exhibit. Um, if you have any suggestions on what dinosaur or like an extra dinosaur to add to that exhibit or any other ideas, leave it in the comments. I'll pick my favourite out of um, all of them. Also, names as well, that'd be a nice suggestion to have. Oh, back into the first person mode. Just looking at our Apatosaurus here. Sinoceratops glitching through. That oh, really does show you a scowl. You don't realise how big you are when you're in the um, like the God's Eye Cam. Like when you're down on their level. Mm. 
We have the viewing gallery there. Just getting a little look. And then you have one which is uh, hidden away a bit, but um, it's not too much of a problem. Might even add a gyrosphere down the line. But um, anyway, that wraps up this video. Of course, there's a little surprise at the end. Um, akin to what I used to do in my older videos. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And, of course, I'll see you in the next one.